Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel Legends, uh, the Infinity Gauntlet Thanos. Um, and I just picked them up from uh, Target. Uh, they sold out on pre-order, so I just had to pick them up, I guess, from Target. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's go over to box art here. So we get the comic look of the Infinity Gauntlet, uh, Infinity Gauntlet uh, logo with the all six Infinity Stones. You get Thanos. You get the Marvel Legends logo on top here. You get all six stones on top. You get a picture of Thanos here. You get another picture of Thanos here. And if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then uh, another picture of Thanos. Uh, and then here's the bottom with the DCPI, or UCPI, I mean. Uh, but besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Thanos added packaging here. So he, he comes with a bunch of accessories. Just one little detail that I liked about the packaging, though. I love the... Uh, like with the backdrop box for uh the box for him it comes with the throne with all the like stars and planets and stuff like that you get some of that like galactic clouds from the milky way or whatever uh, around that and then it's just this throne just floating so i think that was a pretty cool uh thing that hasbro did um so let's go over the accessories here so you get one fist here that doesn't come with the stones. You see a little bit of marbling there. Um, and then, yeah, you get all five of his knuckles kind of um, have pads there. Uh, so, yeah, nice gold paint. I meant yellow gold paint, but I see a lot of marbling on this. Um, and then you get another hand with, uh, like, an open, clinched hand with all the stones in his hands here. Um... So yeah, I like that. Um, so there's that. You see all the stones onto his hand here. Um, and then you get an extra head sculpt here of Thanos with a beard, gray beard, old Thanos with a crown on top of his helmet. So that's pretty cool. They're a little, they're very bendy. So be careful of those if you're gonna be too rough with them. You get a little bit of marbling in the back there. Um, but nothing too serious. I like the little band there on this beard there. And then you get some of that darker gray wash on him. And he's kind of smiling. You get the really bright blue eyes. I like the purple that they used for the figure too. So yeah. Um, and then let's go over the figure itself. So he does come with another hand too. Uh, the one where he snaps. So yeah. A lot of marbling going on with the figure though. Um... But here's Thanos here. He's kind of like yelling or smirking or wherever. You get the blue eyes again. You get the gold like crown thing over his mask. And then a blue uh, overhead piece for his mask. You get the gold ears. You get this like shoulder pad piece here for the uh, figure. I like the blue for the outfit that he has on. Um, you get uh, another fist here. Um, which does not come with any interchangeable hands for this one. Um, but you can pop off. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with that one. We can pop off that one. And then I think... Oh, never mind. You can't take that off. I, I swear I thought it was loose earlier. I guess not. Okay. Um, but never mind. I guess it's not loose. Um, and then you get some gold strips going down the middle of the torso and then around the armpit here to the back. And then you get this like little skirt piece here for him. Uh, you get some gold uh, belt here. You get some gold outlining here. You get the gold underwear here. <laughs> uh, and then you get, like, this nice blue pants on them. You get the, like, cloth boots on them. Nice yellow. A uh, little bit of marbling going on, but not a whole bunch. Not going to bother me on the boots here. But I really love the blue and the purple that they use on this figure. It looks really cool. Um, but, yeah, I like this figure a lot. Uh, I can show you what it looks like with the head, he uh, the other head sculpt here. Hang on. And yeah, see, he has a dumbbell, uh, ball, a head joint there for him. But yeah, that's what it looks like with the other head sculpt. Let me pop this one back on. There we go. So, but besides the looks here, let's go over the articulation. So his head can hinge down, not hinge, like move nothing down you can look up a little bit you can look left and right uh a little bit of head pivoting quite a bit actually it's not too bad 
Um, shoulders can move out that far. You can do 360 rotation around the shoulder there. He has a bicep swivel. He has single jointed elbows that go only that far. You can rotate them. Um, his wrists can hinge down just that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. He has an ab crunch, so you can go forward just that much. Backwards a little bit, he has a waist swivel, so you can go 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out to the side that far, forward that far, backwards not a whole lot. He does have a thigh cut, double jointed knees. Oh, I just realized some. No peg holes. I just realized that. Nice. Um, no boot swivel. Uh, his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. So yeah, I'm glad that they came out with this figure. I don't have the other Thanos figure that was out like by the time Endgame was out. Um, whereas that one, the blue areas were more like a purple, very dark blue, navy blue. Uh, the gold was a little more darker. So I think that was a more of a modern uh, look of Thanos. Whereas this one is based on the first looks of him from the comics, like the original story. So I like this figure a lot. I love the colors on this figure. Uh, there's just a little bit of marbling on the hands and stuff like that. But you can barely tell um, from seeing that out afar. But... Um, I like all the accessories that he came with, um, but besides that, that's all I've got.